Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at the Cambridge Adventures in English series. We're going to look at the first part of this. It's a little worksheet that comes with it. We'll go through it. Uh, we'll walk through the lesson together so you can see how it's done. Okay, so here we are uh, at the home screen. We're going to go to the new and featured stuff in English Adventures with Cambridge and create the lesson. There's a bit of a download that comes with this one and this cool kind of cinematic intro. And we're gonna make sure we've got our Explorer's Guidebook here. Um, and we're gonna go through the answers to this together. I'll post pop stuff up on screen as we go. Um, so we're gonna have a chat with Captain Gary now, um, who's going to say, can I help you? And he's going to invite us to uh, look something. Let's go for around on that one, around. Uh, so we're going to go and have a look around the boat. Um, yeah, some cool little hatches and stuff to explore. Little living area and stuff down here, which is nice. Um, we're going to be keeping the worksheet handy uh, because um, as the students work their way through this, uh, we're going to see uh, what might be the next bit that we need to fill in. So we'll walk down the dock. Tra la 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 la. And then... Uh, we should find this kind of uh, sheet in front of us that we need to pick up and the page is going to kind of fly off there Pretty cool how they animated this now um, The link to this world is in the description along with the um, The kind of official web page that comes with it so you can download all the worksheets you can uh, What else can you do you can look at the lesson plan the home learning plan now is something new that they've got on there as well And now we're gonna have a chat with this guy called Steve He's going to ask us to fix the sign. Uh, hello, Steve. So we've woken him up, unfortunately, um, but we're going to fill in our sheet with the word sign. So we're filling these in now. And um, when we get to the end of our sheet, um, we're going to fill these in. And uh, it's going to give us um, the name of the book uh, that we find in the library. So we're going to collect our coin there, jumping up and collecting that, get the page again, and it gives us another one of these really cool uh, cinematic um, interludes, uh, which I've not seen in any of the lessons before. They are pretty cool. Um, probably this is why this version had a really big update required that went with it. So yes, we're going to keep filling in the worksheet as we go. Of course, this is an English lesson, essentially. I can do it part of your, as part of your ICT, um, but primarily an English lesson. So the sheet uh, flies up there. That is pretty cool. Lands back down on the other side, and it is, um, la it is landed on the other side of this gate here uh, that, of course, we're going to need to open. There'll be a little puzzle there at the front, uh, so we're just going to rotate uh, these four blocks here till they spell open, O-P-E-N, open the gate. Um, so yeah, your students will need um, to solve this to get through. Um, but, you know, I think they can figure that out. So four letter, four letter words to get through the gate. And if they rotate it around, they can see the options that are there. So we head into the library. Now we need to walk over the letters uh, to make the word, and then we fill in our sheet again. Library. Oh, why? Okay, I'm going to talk to Lilac, the librarian, who uh, makes us her new assistant. Uh, in a moment, she will. And at which point will we have to fill in the gate? So Lilac's kind of in charge of this awesome library with bookshelves everywhere. So she's made us a new assistant, which is nice of her. Let's fill in the sheet. And for each of these, you'll notice there's a little number uh, underneath a certain letter. So if you take that letter, it spells another word later on. So we're going to head up to the vending machine. Lilac needs a coffee. And then oh, we're going to collect this coffee for her. I need a coffee too. 
Um, we're going to head back with the coffee. So yeah, that's where we can fill in the sheet. C-O-F-F-E-E for the coffee. Lilac wants a hot drink, you buy her a coffee. Um, then she wants us to go and water the plant at the back. Lots of my students got stuck on this one. They were watering the plant instead of watering the um, seed. There's a seed in the one on the left. Uh, but once we do that, we fill in the sheet again, water. Um, then you head back to her. She's very pleased because you've watered her plant. And now she's going to lead us off to the next part. Uh, but as you can see down here, there's one more word. to say the floor is broken. And this, uh, every other letter there is missing, unfortunately. So let's have a chat with Lilac, see what she says. Look at the floor, it's broken. Um, the word is, and then she's going to give us one letter. I have one letter, take it, here you go. What's she given us? Um, she's given us an R. So I'll put that there. And um, I think it's trying to get us to spell adventure. So let's start uh, putting these in. Now you need to explore uh, the two little balcony areas. And there's also a, um, there's also a chest which you'll find up the stairs on the right up here uh, with all the different parts in. So we'll fill in the word adventure on our worksheet. Adventure. And then let's go ahead and start filling in uh, our word at the bottom. So 28 was U for around. Uh, three was S for sign. 12 was E for open. Seven was R for library. Well, that's strange. Seven isn't on this one at the bottom. Maybe we need that for next time. Um, 74 is A for assistant. Uh, let's keep going through this. I think there's a typo, maybe. Uh, 41 is R for water. 36 is T. For adventure, you can see what it's supposed to be. 93 is E for coffee. And I'm going to fill in the rest because it's obvious what they are. So what book does a page come from? What well, it says here, I don't know if you can read that, adventure, when we fill in all the missing bits there. So that takes us to the end of what I would call the first lesson. Um, so I think your students can fill in that sheet, work through. That's about one lesson's worth of work. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and that you do it with your class. It's a good one. They really like this one. Uh, it does take a little bit. You do need to go through it first as an educator. Uh, but uh, once you do and you've printed out a few versions of the sheet, your students will really enjoy it and get a lot out of it. Okay, so um, I thoroughly recommend it. If you enjoyed today's video, please do like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you later in the week.